Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for uh, returning to Tracy's Florida Homestead. This is part two on the cubby repair. Uh, yesterday, we tried to replace a starter switch, starter key switch, as you see he's putting it in now, and it didn't crank. So we did some wiring runs. We tested wirings. We tested everything else. And when we got to this right here, which is our battery, the reading on the battery was 19.67 volts, and that is not right. A battery should not be more than 13 and something volts. So we changed the batteries. We got our little canoe battery in here, which is the same size. We wired everything back up, and this is the result. With no jumps, no wiring problems, no anything. Our problem was an overcharged battery. So even though we really needed the new key switch because about once every year and a half here in Florida with all of the rain and the humidity and everything else, it will work on the electronics in this key switch. I decided to try the older key switch and see if it was bad and it wasn't. So I have got a new key switch for later when, the, when this older one goes out. But, so, always check, like they say, compression, ignition. Um, my compression is fine. Now I figured out it was my ignition. It was not the fuel. It was not anything else but the problem with my ignition. So, check your battery. Anything over 13, 14 volts is not good. It's going to be overcharged. And now my cubby is running fine. So the classes I'm taking in small engine repair are starting to pay off because I was just reading last night my chapter on ignition and ignition problems. So I hope you have a great day. Welcome back to the farm. And here is another DIY fix for you. Like I said, learn something new every day. It keeps you young. And also, if you cannot find what you're looking for, even though there's not a lot of videos for cubbies, on uh, YouTube. There are a lot for certain ones, but just not the X-T2 that I have. Um, so we're trying to give you some better videos or more videos. Well, we hope you have a great day. Now that it has stopped raining here in bright sunny Florida, we're going to mow some grass. Have a good one.